hey everyone welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about the vectors so we'll see that where we can use the vector then when we use it how we use it and then we'll see then what are the different way of using the vectors so if you see from the starting that vectors basically implement a dynamic array so generally that whenever you define the array then you need to fix the size like what's my size but when you are using array list or vectors then you need not to define the size right it automatically grows so that is why we say that it is dynamic array why dynamic because you need not to specify the size as soon as you keep on adding the element it automatically double the size and it automatically fills it right so that is why we need not to consider about the size at the starting so vector we could say that it is similar to array list but vector is synchronized right so in array list also it's a dynamic array and vector also dynamic array so both are kind of same and many functions are same it's just that vector is synchronized so synchronized means let's say if there are multiple threads which are dealing at the same time to array list or a vector so vector can handle synchronization automatically but array list cannot handle so if you want to handle synchronization in array list then we need to externally handle but in vector it is handled implicitly okay so that is the that is the main feature of vector that is it synchronized and it is it is it handles the dynamic array so now uh, basically the vector vector implements the list interface and it extend the abstract list so whatever functions list interface has it implements those functions and it extend the abstract list classes so it inherits all the functions which abstract list ha have right now uh, there are some of the ways through which we can initialize the vector so by default like we are saying that it it basically handles a dynamic array right so by default the initial size initial capacity is 10 it means the initial initial array size initial vector size is 10 elements and as as it fills the element then it automatically doubles the size of vector right so now let's see if we have this by default constructor so in this our default vector of capacity 10 but we have another constructor as well where we can define the initial size so let's so let's say if i say okay my initial size is 20 so rather than 10 it will be initial size 20 and whenever the 20 size fills then it will automatically increment then we have the another constructor as well where what we say we say that okay this is my initial size and when this initial size fills up then increment the values increment the size by this much value okay so we can also give this increment value as well now we have the we have another constructor so what it says that whatever collection object you have just put it in the collection and it would fill with with the values of that collection okay so this is another way of uh, vector as well so now we have seen what are the different properties so now let me show you directly through example that how we are proceeding so here we have initialized the vector now uh, i am adding the java and i am adding the one so here you could see that it is giving me warning that basically you are not giving any type right so when we are not giving any type so we can add any object so like here we are adding the string object then we are adding the integer object but in the next case uh, so like here when i am giving that okay this vector contains only integer then we can pass only integers right so now let's uh, let's see first of all so now uh, when we initialize the vector so and when we added the java and one and now uh, we have this iterator so through iterator we can uh, iterate it so here if you iterate it so here you could see that it is printing java one now uh, we have another vector so in another vector basically we are giving the type like what is my type so here we are defined that okay my type is integer so you could pass only integer right so now again through iterator we are checking that what are the values so you could see that it has printed 1 and 2 now let's see this uh, the another one uh, constructor where we saw that what is my initial size so now what is doing that here it is initializing by the initial size as 2 right so you could see here that when i added the one value and when i added the two value so now my size is filled but again you are able to add the third one because it has automatically incremented a size implicitly 
right so that is why we are able to add the size now we have the another constructor so this was basically that once it added the size and this was for the increment thing so it says that whenever my size is full whenever so it says that this is my initial size which is 2 now whenever my size is full so increment this vector by 5 positions so now if you see this so now you could see that so implicitly it has improved it implicitly it has incremented the size by 5 position and now we are able to add right so these are basically uh, some of the important properties that we have seen so vector is similar to array list just that it is it it handles synchronization implicitly now there are many functions many methods which vector has which and which are similar to array list but we are not going to go through each and every methods you could see uh, you could see the java tutorial uh, or java documentation for all the vector methods so that's it guys about the vectors and if you have any doubt regarding vector then please write in the comment section and i will try to address that so thanks for watching and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you